Hello YouTube, I have another presentation for you. Um, it's about uh, this dot matrix printer. Right there. Um, I got it uh, just today from a friend. Um, his parents were getting rid of it. So I told them that um, I asked them if I, if I could have it. And as you can see, it's printing right now, very slowly. And what it actually does is it's printing um, in real time uh, the contents of an IRC channel. Well, let me just show you the IRC channel that I'm talking about. It's this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. That's XKCD on the phonetic network. And whenever someone says something or if I uh, enter something into the channel it gets printed in real time with this line printer. I don't know if you can see the text, but um, yeah, it works quite well. It uh, it's quite a weird setup actually. I um, I used a similar technology that I used before in my uh, in the in, the, in this uh, this this phosphor effect or whatever, and the Star Wars effect before that. And now I just linked that to a line printing and driver. So it's printing in real time uh, the contents of this IRC channel. I think this is quite fun, actually. Um, I mean, it feels quite, quite, um, quite strange, actually, to know that you you can't edit it anymore. Whatever you say, actually, it just gets, it just gets printed, you know, a hard copy. Um, one page lasts about um, five to ten minutes, so I don't have I don't actually have um, endless paper, so I just use A4 sheets and I have to I have to um, to swap them every few minutes. Yeah. Um, I would say we just we just um, sit here and wait till the page is full, so I can show you how I um, switch the pages. It works actually quite good because this printer has automatic loading. It takes one page at a time. I can't put uh, more than one page into the tray up there. And. Um, it uses uh, an internal font right now. It has three internal uh, three internal fonts. Um, they're called um, Draft, Sans Serif, and Roman. I'm using the Draft font in the condensed version right now. <coughs> well. XKCD isn't too active right now. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be probably my worst video that I ever uploaded. Uh, my webcam is quite horrible when it comes to video quality, and I'm not doing—I'm not even doing much right now. Okay, the page is almost full. Let's take a look. Few lines, just a few lines more.
I would actually take off the cover of um, of the printer, but I actually um, shouldn't do this right now because it's 2 a.m. in the morning, and I have neighbors, and this printer is really loud when you take off the cover. Come on, just a few more lines. Ah, oh, there you go. You see the paper went offline and there's paper out. So what I do now, so I take out the page. And, oh, sorry. I take a new sheet of paper. Put it back in the slide and I need both hands for this. Uh. Fast forward the paper to um, a home position, and I put the, uh, the printer back online. And there's uh, print jobs in the buffer that get printed now that couldn't uh, couldn't have been printed while the printer was offline. Those were just uh, two or three lines or so. But yeah, that's how you print an IRC channel in real time with a dot matrix printer. Uh, just for reference, this is an Epson LQ500. Um, I've actually never heard of this uh, printer before. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite good, I think. Um, uh, the print quality is surprisingly good, actually. I've printed uh, some PDFs with it on the uh, maximum quality um, setting. And it came very close, if not equal, to a 90s era um, bubble jet printer. Uh, yeah. Um, and how do I do the printing of this IRC um, channel? Well, uh, it's actually quite easy. Um, like I said before, I'm using the same technology that I used for the phosphor display. Um, I use II, the um, system based IRC client for it and I'm piping um, what I do is I'm piping the um, channel output and um, status output into uh, a named pipe and then I'm um, tailing the pipe right here and then I put it into a while loop and this while loop gets printed with LPR to the Epson printer that's set up with cups. Um, as you can see, this is um, pretty much a one-liner in Z shell um, script. Really easy. Well, actually, I'm not using a name pipe this time. I'm using an actual file. Hmm. Probably forgot to do the MK FIFO command. Yeah, um, I don't actually know if you uh, can see what what I'm seeing right now. Um, here's the here's the here's the file again, and whoops, and there's the there's the command for printing. It really is very easy. Yeah, I hope you watched uh, and somewhat enjoyed um, the probably worst video that I ever made on YouTube. Thanks for watching.